We got people that surround you. They gon' find a bitch around you. Keep them squares up about your circle. Man, y'all gotta keep them squares out your circle, man. We gotta stop hanging around with people that don't wanna hang out with us. They just wanna stay around and be around to see what you doing, to see what you got going on. They can care less about you. They can care less about your health. They can care less about your family. If you got kids, they can care less about your kids. They can care less about your well-being. They just wanna make sure that you're not doing better than them. We gotta stay away from those type of people, man. Those type of people are dangerous to us. To us mentally and physically, man, and psychologically. So just stay away from that. Just stay focused. Keep that in mind that some people are not your friends. Some people don't want to be your friend. And that's okay. It's so many people in the world and everyone doesn't have our best interests. I know it's hard for us to understand that, but it's simply the truth, man. Everyone does not have our best interests. Everyone does not want to see you win. And that's okay. That's okay. They don't have to want to see you win. As long as you want to see yourself win, as long as you put that work in to see yourself win, as long as you put that work in every day, day in and day out, man, the people that's for you, it will come to the light, man. You can't stay in the dark forever. I promise you, you cannot. You cannot stay in the dark forever, man. You cannot. You cannot stay in that dark forever, man. So I'm telling you, keep friendships. Keep people around you that uplift you, man. When it's your bad times, when you're going through down times in your life, they're trying to uplift you. They actually listen to you. Every time you bring a topic up to them, they don't have to flip it back. It's something personal for them. They don't have to turn it back to them. You tell them, hey, man, I just bought a new car. And they tell you, man, I just bought a car, too. Like, they're letting you have your moment, man. That's very important that they're letting you have your moment. They're not trying to drain your confidence. They're not trying to belittle your dreams, telling you, man, you can't do that. Nobody else did it. They, they support you. Instead of them sharing something or liking something, they watch it all the time. Man, they're not friends, man. Stay away from those people that's not supporting your dream, man. To me, I'm a guy. So a friend for me would be like a brother. So for my brother, I'm just saying, I'm supporting my brother. As long as it's something that I feel like is it is in his best interest, even if I don't feel like what I mean by that is, as long as I don't think it's a danger to his safety, to his life, to his freedom, I'm supporting him all the way. And if I feel it's some negative, like he about to crash out, I'm going to tell him, like, nah, man, that's not it. Because, again, I'm a true friend. So I'm not going to let you self-destruct because I know that's not right, man. You got something to live for. Even if you don't see it right now, man, you got something bigger than you out here in the world. So you got to see that you are the prize, man. You are the voice. So, man, just keep that in mind. And it's just easy. It's easy to get lost, man. So keep that in mind. Keep your friends in check, man. Keep your friends' mutual support in check. Pay attention to that. Do y'all have the same mutual feelings? Or is it a disconnect? Pay attention to that. Do y'all reciprocate things? Pay attention to that. Is it unhealthy competition? Pay attention to that. Because don't get me wrong, man. If you're a go-getter, you, you're highly competitive. But it's not like a negative competitive. Like you're not actually hoping that something happens to him. You're thinking like, yeah, man. Yeah, JC. Yeah, daughter. Let's go. Let's do this. Come on. So it's like I'm pushing you to get better. You pushing me to get better. But we got the same end goal, getting better. We're just trying to do it together. And we're just trying to stay each other, keep each other poised. So therefore, we got a little friendly competition going on. But it's not hating. It's not spiteful. So you got to keep that in mind, man. So look, keep that friendly competition going on as long as it's not Hang competition is not negative, it's not unhealthy, man. Keep that rolling. Because guess what, man? Envy, it comes with a lot of trauma that you can endure. And unhealthy sense of competition. You don't need that from a friend. You don't need that from a friend. Because it feels like they're just trying to compare it to you. Like their whole life is based on who can do something better. And that's not healthy for you, man. So don't do that. If your trust is gone, man, you may have a snake around you. If you feel like you can't trust that person, 
it may be a snake around you. Wake up, notice that, acknowledge that. If you got a snake around you, man, you got to cut them off. Don't let them bite you. Don't let them bite you in the back. Close that back door ASAP. Don't let them bite you in the back, man. If you sense someone is envying you, get them out of there, man, before they do something to you that you don't see coming. Don't allow that snake in your yard too long, man. Get them out of there, man. Call the cleaning crew, man. Call terminus. Call something. Call something. Get them out of there, man. Get them out of there. If you got a friend and they're undermining your success, man, they're not celebrating your achievements that you feel are achievements to you, that you feel are wins. But let's say, for instance, man, you do something like graduate school, right? And you graduate from two year, and they say, why you ain't go to a four year? That sounds like a hater. I'm not going to lie. That sounds like a hater. Bro, congratulate me for my achievement. Does it matter? It doesn't matter if it was a certification that took six months. I achieved it, and it's big for me. So if you can't, you feel me, acknowledge that and on your boy, man, there's something wrong. You don't need to be around me. So y'all got to just make sure that, like, Sometimes I feel like we get into going places that we're tolerated, not wanted. All because we don't want to be alone. Loneliness is not bad at, like, at all. It's really not bad. Loneliness is not a bad thing. It's not the end of the world either. So if you got to separate yourself, you got to be alone for a little bit because you got too many people that you really can't depend on that's not really consistent in your life. You just got to take that and run with it, man, because it's better in the end than being with someone that de don't have your best interests at heart. It's way better than that. Because think about you got somebody that just may downplay everything you do. Is that something you want to be around? No. They're downplaying everything you do or they just feel threatened by your success. Like you're going out, you're traveling, you're buying nice things for yourself that you couldn't buy three years ago. Now they're like, man, you, you bragging, you doing too much. Why you got to do it like this? Why you got to post it? When you was broke, you was posting. They ain't say nothing because you broke. You struggling. They not saying nothing. When your car breaking down there every week and they got to pick you up, they not saying nothing. But now that you driving Maserati, now you driving Mercedes Benz, now you driving AMG, BMW. Now they saying something. Now you got that new Camry SSE. Now they saying something. Now you got that new Honda Accord Sport. Now they saying something. Now you got that new job. Now they saying something. Now you're in that new career field. Now they saying something. Man, why you did that? Just pay attention to it. Also pay attention to people that give you backhand compliments. People that joke in a hating manner. <laughs> oh man. That shit ugly as hell. Like, don't get me wrong. Look, I'm not saying all your friends are hating just because they tell you their opinion. That's not what I'm saying. But you would know what I'm saying because you would start to sense it like every day. Yeah, man, shoot. If I had this, I'd do that. But they said jokingly. <laughs> man, pay attention to that. Again, look, this is not me. I kid you not. I'm old enough to know, man, who my real friends are. And I keep a tight circle. Honestly, I'm just being real with you. I know this. I'm old enough to know this. So that's why I'm telling you all because when I was y'all age or some people that's older that even may not know because not everyone blessed to know these things or they know, but they just need a voice like me to say it, to just reassure them that they're not crazy. And bro, you're not crazy. Sis, you're not crazy. If you got a friend that's hating on you, that's not in your corner clapping for you when you achieve something that you've been wanting to achieve she's seeing you in the struggle he's seeing you in the struggle he's seeing you five years ago they're not proud of you like if i got a friend and i knew them five years ago they were not where they are today i am happy for them because i know it can be done i'm not hating i am happy because now if that's my friend i'm one step close as well Along with helping them because now they have the information that I could get from them. Which is so valuable than the handout. It's so more valuable than the handout. Why would I want a handout when my friend can just give me some information that's way more valuable in life? So, man, we got to think about these things and keep them squares up by your circle. We got people that's around you. 
They gon' try their best to down you. Keep them scrubs up out your circle. All right, family. I'm gone, baby. Love y'all. Subscribe to the channel, man. We in here. We in here big, too, man.